So this has been like an impromptu tour. Well, you know. I beg you, you don't have to have one. Okay. First of all, you're warmly welcome to Cape Coast. Thank you. And warmly welcome to Cape Coast Castle. And I go by the name Samo, and I'm the one going to be your guide for the next 45 by the Portuguese, led by Don Diego de Alambuja mm. in 1482. The second one built in the second one built in Osu, as you know, yeah. Osu Castle by the days in 1661. The last one built here by the British in 1665. Been, everything was being done. They kept these people in this total darkness. This door was being closed. The only source of light and isolation you give to these people when you go, you see it to yourself. So today I'm glad you came here to work to know the history behind your ancestors, where they were kept. Are you ready? Yeah. Yes. Cookie. Yes. Wow. This is how the room was. There were no lights when we have over here. Come closer. What? You see the hole we have up there. That is even for the second chamber. People who were in the second chamber, 200 people using this hole as a source of light and ventilation. But they themselves call this window. But I myself, windows are much bigger than this ones. These are holes for <laughs> animals. But people of innocence, they didn't do anything. Mm -hmm. They were kept here. They slept in total. Let's come in first here. It was being abolished in 1974. They didn't abolish it in 1974, but during the 1974, okay? Because they wanted to see the original floor. So where you are walking now is the original floor. Because this place was being excavated. So they, this maps demonstrates the level of the feces. The level of the feces oh when they were here. And the trade went on for 400 years. So, talking of the fees over here, it was just piling, every bar had piling and piling, just like that. Let's get here. Let me show you the portion over here. You will see where I am standing now looks a little bit different from where you are standing. Yeah, like during, the, during the excavation, they left this small portion as an evidence for people to see how the floor was. So I am standing on toilet, sweat, and human flesh all over this place. Have you seen the difference? Yeah. Yeah, so wow. this is not the original floor. This is the original floor because they excavated the room. Those who survived, it's all about having a strong immune system. Because the condition here, if you have a weak immune system, automatically you will die over here. May yeah. those anytime they have nearby or a set of people coming in, they will cover the room with sand, cover their mess mm -hmm. for the next badge coming, not to see what has really happened in the room. Let's continue. Up here, a watch post also up here. Security men were there doing their work up here by watching these people down there. But you know what happened over here? The third chamber, they had the opportunity to hear some gospel up here at Dungeon. When you go to Albina Castle too, the Dutch also built their church okay. right above the Fingo Dungeon. So what was their motive behind having a church <laughs> right above a dungeon? Whilst people of your own kind, Suffering. people of your own kind, oh 
you, you put these people over here in their toilets, blood. So they didn't continue their journey from where we came from. The men rather continued their journey from here. They had an underground tunnel, an underground passage that connects to the door of no return. Only for the men. The women were not part, but the women were really close to the door of no return. So the men, they will pass here. We have an entrance here. If we are to take the white cloth off, you see the entrance of the tunnel. Yes, this wasn't here. Let me confuse. I'll explain the reason why we have the shrine here. So let's take for example, this wasn't here. So the fifth one, they will go first before the fourth, before the third, the second, and the first one. They will pass here. In the evening, they normally ship our people, many in the evening. All because they never wanted the local people to see what they were doing. So especially in the evening, that's when they ship our people. Straight to the ship will just come. We, the, the shrine wasn't here. Please, the shrine was here even before the Portuguese arrived. Mm. So when they came here, this is where the indigenous of Cape Coast, this is where we were worshipping. So when the Portuguese got here, this place was full of rocky. A lot of this place. That's why the castle has a good and strong foundation. They did a quarry before they put up the striker. So this place was full of rocky. So when they came in, this is where the indigenous of Cape Coast were worshipping. They come, they worship, they go back to Cape Coast. They come, they worship and go back to Cape Coast. And the reason why that's why they even had this brick as they go, because this is where they were worshipping. This is the church. The one up here. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is the cemetery. Because I see this. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right, so this is the church up here. And the one of this place is called the courtyard of the cemetery. The courtyard of the cemetery. A lot of people are being buried over here, a lot. But these four bodies, yes, in this place, a lot. But these four bodies were being identified. These four. Three European graves, I mean, white people. One African grave over here, mm -hmm. black man. Clearly shows even in death, they have really separated <laughs> the black from the white. Clearly shows over that. He go by the name Philip Kweku. Kweku, a morning's day born. Okay. But Philip Kweku, his father was a middle man. All right, so we have a water okay. reservoir over here. There were no pipes around for them to depend on. They built this. And these are the canals. When the British were here, they were having enemies. All because of how they were enjoying the monopoly of the profit. Intruders were coming here, pirates were coming here to what fight against them to take the castle from them. And this is what the British were using it to protect themselves and the castle as a whole. Mm. In this modern world, we're probably gonna call it bullets and yeah. guns. Spoon. Yes, and those days so the ships were made of wood only. Mm. They created this ball to create portals whenever they fire it so for it water sink. to go in easily and they can sink drastically. That's why they made these balls. So, a picture from here. Alright, so this is also part, this is also part of the underground passage. So we just will stand here like this, watching them also seeing why they were passing. What is deeper I see? They will come and end up here. Father three this where they will end for the men. So they the men over here and they will take the shape right from here. This was the door of no return, this place. They block here because of the sea water keeps on coming, coming in no. whenever they are shaping our people. They did it to what block this side. Using the current door of no return as a door of return, very small one. If you want to go through, unless you bow down before, you can go through. You yeah. clear? Yeah. But this place is also blocked. The reason why they blocked here was that they were still smuggling people. I see. Because it was finally abolished in Ghana in 1833. Uh -huh. So after all, from the date from 1801 out to 1833, they were still smuggling people over here. And they needed to what, block every tunnel to show a proof or a sign that indeed it's really abolition. That is why they block the tunnel. I did not mean that this place will not be blocked. This place is called the female punishment cell. Wow. The female punishment cell. You know, when the soldiers were coming down here, they didn't come along with their wives. 
they ended up in raping, having sex with some of our mothers, our aunties, our sisters down here. But you know, some African women, they didn't allow themselves to was abused sexually. They ended up in bringing them here because they were stubborn. They took these people here. There was a huge metal door over here. Alright, so finally, the females named Daniel. We could have a picture from here also as well. If you want to take a picture, just do that. It was rather hard to condemn, so mm. I told you occasionally they took the slaves up here to work, cracking their brakes, you know, scrubbing and sweeping over here. Some of them wanted to work, run away from here uh, because they were sick and tired of being in the dungeon. And finally, they were not so lucky and they were caught. They took these people in here without food and water. No one walks in and come back alive. For here, they didn't kill them. Because of the condition they had here, they died themselves because there were no food and water given to these people. No ventilation points. No source of light and ventilation, as you see. Because of the condition they had here, they died themselves because there were no food and water given to people, innocent also, people. Also, darkness. Yes, darkness. And darkness. they died over here. And all the noises from the dungeon, they couldn't be here because they were tall and they breathed. And, and the noise from the sea, we had the highest level. There's a woman buried among the graves you have down there. White man, and that's the wife of Captain George Martin. Oh, George Martin. She was found dead here. 